Welcome to a fun, powerful class that I'm excited about teaching you. If you have any hand weights, it doesn't have to be super heavy, bring those along. If you don't have, you might want to use blocks or books or something like that, water bottles even. <laughs> I'm going to be playing some music in the background. And it is cross yoga, which means it's Christian yoga. And this is the focus on partying, having fun, the light stuff, because the Bible is also about parties and having fun, giving praise and all of that. And I think sometimes, at least in my YouTube channel, I, I tend to forget that. I go deep, I go, oh. But today, let's um, just enjoy the movement of the body and the present moment also in God's presence. And we'll begin standing for once. <laughs> so you might want to go maybe a little bit wider than hip width distance in mountain pose. So really firmly ground your feet down. Most likely you have closed your eyes, your palms facing forward and then connecting with breath. Maybe sigh out. I didn't expect you to be happy and overflowing with joy as you chose this video, <laughs> but you might be at the end, right? So we want to let go of everything that is kind of just pulling us down. <sighs> Maybe you sigh it out, let go and let God. Why don't you take your arms out to the side, up towards the sky, big circle, and maybe just stay with your arms up. In some churches, this is a praise move. <laughs> it might not be for you, but no matter what, just lift your arms up, let your arms, your fingers, your body say whatever it needs to say in this posture. Maybe this posture reminds you of something that's bigger than you. Something that holds on, something you can support and lean onto. Like you are holding your arms up, you're leaning into the floor underneath your feet. Sweep the arms out, soften your knees, fold forward. It's gonna warm up ever so gently. Chair pose, reach the arms forward, stand up again, circle your arms out, fold forward. Yeah, you inhale as you find chair, exhale as you move your arms out and fold forward. Inhale chair, stand up, exhale circle and fold forward. If you feel like going quicker, please do so. <sighs> Maybe being a little bit playful here. Just make sure you get your thighs going, your shoulders going, maybe your wrists. And feel how your body slowly creates heat. Such a beautiful structure your body is. One last time. Next time you fold forward, you're probably standing like I am now here at the top of your mat. Plant your hands down, step your feet back, find your down dog. So hip up and back, strong, strong core, micro bend in the elbows as well as the knees. Shift into plank and move back to down dog. Three more of these. You can again move with your breath. Your ujjayi breath might be really helpful here. That snoring, exhaling thing that you do through your nose. And last one. Remember always options of Pausing, taking a rest in child's pose if you feel like it. Let's do a few of those sun salutation Bs. Well, you know, those begin in chair pose, so bend your knees. Reach your arms by your ears. Stand up, hands down by your side. 
circle your arms up, maybe palms together, fold forward. Lift up halfway. Step your feet back to plank on toes or knees, elbows in by the hip or the rib, lower down, maybe not all the way down, and then lift your chest, cobra or up dog, what you choose. Tuck the toes under down dog. I like the swinging leg, so I'm gonna bring that in, the right leg up, and bring the right knee and foot to the front of the mat, warrior one. So back foot 40 degrees out to the side, hips forward as best as we can, and make sure you have those train tracks in between your heels. Vinyasa flow, so coming back down again, step the feet back, plank, lower down, cobra up dog, down dog. And this thing on the left side as well, reach the leg up and back, bring the knee under, warrior one, back foot, up to the side, rise up, make sure you tuck your tailbone slightly under. And again, back heel off, step it back, vinyasa. Coming to the front, you might wanna jump, heels off, bend your knees, jump to the front, fold forward. Chair pose. And mountain. Now with the breath, maybe a little bit quicker than I sometimes do. Chair pose, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, jump or walk back, plank, low plank. Floating to your up dog. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Right leg, inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant it through. Lower down the back foot for warrior one. Inhale, reach the arms up, listen up. Long exhale, plant to low plank. Continue up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg, reach. And power the leg through, lower down the back foot. Inhale, high, um, <laughs> warrior one for one's long exhale. Plank to low plank. You just continue with your breath until you land in your down dog. Jump or walk to the front, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale your chair. Exhale, mountain. Just one more time. <laughs> inhale, chair. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift, inhale. Plank, low plank. If you're not into that, just down dog immediately. Up dog, or whatever you choose to do. Exhale, down dog. Right leg, inhale, reach. Exhale, plant the foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Long exhale, plank, low plank. Cobra up dog, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Left leg. And through. Exhale. <laughs> Warrior one, inhale. And long exhale, plank, low plank. I know we might do this sequence a little bit differently, but this is how I was taught and how I enjoy it. <laughs> Come to the front, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. forward. Chair pose, inhale. Exhale, mountain. And stay here, catch your breath, maybe a sip of water. <sighs> and we're gonna have some fun, incorporate the weights if you have them. <laughs> so, some of these things you might take a look at the screen because I might go very creative. Let's see. Right leg up and keep your hands just down by your side for now. Then it's one leg, a deadlift or a variation of warrior three, whatever you call it. Reach the right leg back, lean forward. Might be a little bit difficult if you're used to not having weights with you. Bending the standing leg, lower down the right foot there at the back of the mat. I bring the right hand down with the bar there on the floor and reach the left arm up overhead. Then bring the hand down again. Gaze forward, we're gonna do a high lunge with arms up overhead. Shoulders down. Extend the front leg. Bring the weights here to your shoulders. And as you bend the front leg, you bring your arms up again. Let's do that a few times. 
Not too quick though. Let's go for four. Three. Two. And one. Lean forward, bring the weights down, step to the front. <sighs> Fold forward. Mountain pose, hands by your side with your weights if you have. Opposite side, left leg, reach the leg up, stand tall. Keep the navel in. Uh, the warrior one, uh, sorry, warrior three or deadlift, whatever you call it. Make sure your shoulders don't drop, but you hold them. Extend the leg, long spine. Lower down the left foot at the back of the mat, the left hand down, I use my dumbbell there, and then reach the right arm up overhead. So you have a long line from arm to arm. Bring the weights down, prepare yourself for high lunge. Bending front knee, reaching the arms up overhead, extend front leg, bend the knee again, arms down. And let's do that. Five. Push through the front heel. Four. Are your legs finding some joyful moments now? Might feel it burning very soon, if not already. Last one. Bring your weights down, maybe just at the front of your mat, and maybe just pull them a little bit aside. Push back, plank. We're gonna do a push-up, tricep push-up, toes or your knees. Gonna lower down, make sure your shoulders doesn't drop first. Down and up. Gonna do five of these. Oh, come on, five. Four, just small here, it's great as well. Three. Two, one, whoa, down dog. Ah, how did you like that? <laughs> Take the right leg up and back, lift it up. Three-legged dog. Cross it over the ankle of the left leg and move into plank on just on one foot if possible. Lift up and back again, reach the leg up, and do this a few times. Plank, plant the foot, or cross it over. I can follow my breath. Last lift. And then we take a pause or a rest for the arms the wrists, so plant your right knee down. I like to fold my mat. And you might stay put. I'm just gonna turn for the sake of the video. So you come up in this shape. Your right leg is on the floor. Your left is sweeped out to the side. Bring your arms out to the side. Keep this somewhat stable and then go for a little bit of a kind of a side bending thing to the sides here. Navel in and stay strong on this leg. Maybe you wanna keep the pelvic floor a little bit in as well. And in my body, I don't feel a lot the first couple of times, but then it kind of kicks in. <laughs> You can do a few more of these, or if you want a little bit more, now our wrists have paused for a moment, you might take your fingers down, even on the dumbbell if you have, reach this back leg up and go for small pulsations to catch the glutes. So go for the other one, still tilting, or this one. Four, three, two, and one. On one, come back, let your hands down, Ooh. get your hip up and back and maybe you 
kind of wiggle the tail a little bit. <laughs> now what we do here with this lifting up and crossing over, you can do on your elbows. I'm gonna show you. Left leg lifted up, really lift up, kick the heel up and back. And then into a variation of plank on hands or elbows, cross left leg over right. Lift again, cross it over. Navel in, no hyper extending the legs. Three more. Right, left knee down. And again, you go for that side of your mat that makes the most sense comparing to the screen. Whew, tuck your right leg out to the side. I'm still mirroring you. Whew, arms out, navel in. And sometimes it's okay you don't feel a burn but you more feel that subtle but strong engagement in your core. A lot of this transverse abdominis where you have corsets of muscles pulling in as you move. Again, keep flying here, soaring. Maybe you like flying. I, I, I'm both a little bit scared of flying and then also really like it when I look down, right? All right, so keep doing that or lift your right leg up and do small pulsations. So sometimes I talk with my family and God and I say, God, if you could just give me one superpower. Well, okay, saving the world, right? But, <laughs> but other than that, if it's just, it's just me, Flying, please, let me fly. Oh, then I wouldn't be afraid of falling. And then I could just enjoy everything from above. Wow. <laughs> All right, come out of that. Back into your down dog, just for a second. I'm gonna work more on our, our legs. Step a jump to the front. Gather then your feet as best as you can, your thighs, what you gather can. Bring your weights, if you have, and find chair pose. So squeeze in those thighs, knees, as best as you can. We are gonna do bicep curls here. So when you bend your knees, you bend your elbows. Stand up tall, and then kick one leg to the side, feet in. Bend the elbow, sit down in your chair, other side. With control. So let's do that a few times. Sit low. Lots of great core work. And as you would see it in the thumbnail of this video. Of course, we're gonna do a lot of core. I just wanna finish with the majority of that. But this is also core. What we did from side to side there, earlier on on the knee, way more core than you probably would expect. Do four more, sit low. Breathe. One more on each side. Keep the feet, the knees together. You can put your weight down, maybe a sit of water, I feel like it. Mm. 
I am, how old am I? 47, yeah. <laughs> and um, I do remember back in the days, there was a movie about Jesus, uh, mate, where Jesus was so serious the whole time. He had this suffering face, blue eyes, <laughs> and suffering face. <sighs> but you know, Jesus is much more than that suffering. He's joyful. He, he was in a party where he created water until wine just to give people a party. <laughs> Maybe there was other layers as well, but there's so much joy to be have um, with working with working with Jesus. <laughs> All right, bring your hands into prayer. Let me not talk the whole way through. Lift your knee up and bring it out to the side. All right, so see if you can balance here. Lift the knee, the knee high. See, I'm struggling here. <laughs> and then maybe reach the arms up overhead, coming down and crunch a little bit to the side. Maybe lower the leg down, reach the arms up, coming up, crunching. And it's fine if this is super intense and difficult. We want it to be. This is a variation of a standing, balancing crunch. And don't worry if you feel like you're just kind of massaging your fat on the side, your skin. Your muscles are there. Don't worry. Underneath everything is there. Two more. Gaze on the floor. If you feel your left thigh there fatigue, it is just right. Lower down, sweep your arms up overhead, fold forward. Hands into prayer. Other side. <laughs> Lift knee up, bring it out. Lift aside, make sure you don't drop out here. That's why this leg fatigues, because it's holding the hip in. If this is enough balance, you might want to stay here. This is also strong core. Or lift your arms up. Bring them down, lift your knee a little bit. I have to look at the floor. Bring it out. Of course, the more you lean to the side, the harder it is to balance, so good shoes. The most important thing you do here is really do your best, whatever the best looks like in your body and then breathe. <sighs> Come on, two more. I feel this. Oh. Oh. Reach your arms up overhead, fold forward. Maybe you grab a hold of your shins or something like that. Coming back into the core. Ooh, so. You're gonna bring a dumbbell. And again, you can do this on your elbows if you prefer. We're gonna work with side planks. So one weight in your hand, you come out on the side of your feet there, and I prefer them having my, my feet on the floor, not tucked on top of each other. Bring the weight overhead, slowly return to plank, plant the weight in the middle, go for the opposite side. Now, the hand that's down, the shoulder that's supporting that hand that's down, just switch. I get a little bit back, all right? Don't sack so you're kind of leaning into the front of the shoulder. Bring the shoulder back for strength and the big trapezes muscle to engage here together with everything else. <laughs> and as you return, slowly, Make your way around. Let's do four more. Navel and lift the hip up. You don't have to be in a straight line in the side planks. Your hip, if you can, very welcome to be higher than your shoulder because you're really then pushing using the side here, the bottom side to lift the hip up. That's great. Oh. All right. 
let go of that and let's have a party with a core with the six pack so bring bring a weight if you're used to some sort of power yoga working out modality bring the weight here now don't hurt yourself that is why you're gonna have your hands here in front of your weight so when you do these reverse crunches you won't drop the weight into your face or your teeth okay it's up to you if you feel unsafe then remove it so you kind of a lift the knee up so your bum will be elevated and the bottom of the six pack will get get going course the longer your feet reaches down towards the floor here the more you have to to really get the core going in or the abs going in to keep the lower spine as best as you can down the floor and that's what's really creating strength as well as the hip lift here do four more think is this yoga in my opinion it is or at least yoga cross training something <laughs> all right bring your weight legs up towards the sky bring the weight if you have two you might want to use that one the weight behind your head one or two of them and then the leg out to the side at the same time and up not directly out to the side but maybe like 45 degrees out to the side to get the uh, adductors, the inner side of the thigh working. Tuck the chin a little bit towards the chest. And celebrate that your abs can do this, right? That your beautiful creative body is able to do this. Oh. We were created for love and fun. And uh, today I had my devotional time, just kind of browsing through the Bible to actually prepare for this class. And then I went through uh, the book of songs, I think it's called. It's, it's really a romantic book. I don't know if you, if you ever knew that. If you're into ro romance movies and stuff like that and poetry, please read the Book of Songs. It's very actually um, also <laughs> romantic in a physical way. Um, so having a body and using it, becoming beautiful for your husband or wife or wife, um, think is also worship is also pleasing and also a part of what we are called to do here on earth one more you might want a windshield wiper your legs after this one let me see we can do one more standing thing and then wrapping the whole class up with a, 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 more, a little bit more up. Find your plank. No, you're down, down. <laughs> Stretch your spine, that might be nice. Okay, right leg up and back, and then bring the right foot to the front for our balance. Kick left leg up for a half moon. So open the hip, toes pointed to the left side. If you're not used to this, maybe just have a look at the screen see if you can balance without reaching the floor gaze on the floor though windmill the arms down close the hip bring the right leg up and back and maybe move into plank with the right leg elevated lower down with the leg elevated for your vinyasa and then both feet on the floor as you lift into your down dog up dog down dog left leg same procedure lift it up bring it through kind of sweep the right foot up open the hip stack the hip 
maybe finding balance, stretching both legs. Breathe, stay here long enough so it's you're feeling the burn sensation there. Both hands down as we close the hip, right leg lowers down at the back so that you can lift the left leg up. Optional plank with left leg elevated, navel in, lower down. Lift, cobra up, dog. <sighs> down dog, same thing, one more time. Right leg up, bring it through. Left leg up, warrior um, half moon. <laughs> Maybe lift the leg a little bit higher. Feel the core engagement. Both feet down, lower down. Right leg up, again, optional here. Strong arms, strong core. Plank, low plank, cobra up dog, down dog. Left. Bring it through. Half moon, right leg up, toes pointing to the right side, balancing. Lower down. I'd like you to have your fingers down before you kind of close your hip, just for extra measurements of safety with your hip. Left leg up, plank. Lower down. Cobra up, dog. Ooh, maybe just take a seat. I promise you the last core exercise. And of course, we're gonna go more towards the, the yoga component of things here. So, boat pose. <laughs> but you might wanna bring one or two weights. If you have a back or you just feel tired now and you can't really focus on really engaging your core, you might not bring a weight. You might not wanna go for the sides. Just find boat pose and stay there. If you want more, lower down like this floating. Coming up, bring the weight to each side. Lower down, coming up. Just a few more. Wanna finish on a high. And then actually stretch the abs a little bit. Three more. Keep the feet high. <laughs> I have a party in my hips. <laughs> a fire party. <laughs> Turn the other way around for stretching the abs. I never feel a stretch in my abs and most people don't, but this is a stretch in the abs. Bring your hands forward and go for a variation of Cobra. And then we calm everything down with just a few stretches. In my culture, in the church culture I was brought up in, everything was somewhat quiet and serious, and at least when we had the meetings, right? Not so much after <laughs> when people were just talking and having a good time, but when it was about God, it was very serious. And I remember being a little bit puzzled by it and curious why it had to be that way. <laughs> Lower down. And then you can take a seat. Bring the left leg over, either cross the bottom leg or extend it out if you prefer, that's really up to you. If your left leg is up, you're gonna turn to the left side to find the twist. Either hold on here or elbow out there. Coming back to the seriousness. I was reading also the Old Testament and I saw these parties they have in the Old Testament, for example, when they uh, opened up the temple and had these annual uh, Jewish parties that they had or have <laughs> trumpets and dancing. And it seemed like quite a party going on. And I was like, why can't it be like that to go to church? Why can't I use my body a little bit more? 
Why can't we celebrate? Switching for the other side. And I think eventually the community grew into that and the church as I attend now is way more celebrational uh, oriented. <laughs> Not in the sense that just drinking and partying like mainless, you know, maniacs like that, but, but more that joy is also a part of faith and you're not the right Christian if you have a problem. Sometimes it's like, or sometimes I feel if I go to church and I don't have a problem, it's like, am I the only one that's feeling well in my soul? <laughs> uh, it doesn't mean I'm always happy. It doesn't mean I don't have problems, but sometimes I'm just, it's okay to be okay. I just be satisfied without being overflowing with joy and all that. <laughs> Coming out of the twist, the opposite side. Bring your legs out to the side, toes pointing up, oh, leaning forward. So, what are you grateful for right now? I do believe that gratitude is a choice. I can't say why, but sometimes I think our natural tendency is to go for what is wrong. So we have to mindfully and purposefully choose to focus our mind on what is good. And I think I shared this a couple of times. I think that's why the Bible is, is very focused on worship God, praise God, all these phrases that is somewhere what not familiar to a lot of people today. Worship and praise, we don't do that. Adoration, you know, stuff like that. But um, it is to be grateful and look towards God who is good because we, we need to be reminded of that several times per day, if not per hour. <laughs> so let's choose to be grateful. So come down on your mat. Maybe you hug your knees in if you feel like going for the windshield wiper, you can do that. We're gonna finish with just a few minutes of resting on the mat. And maybe at that time you choose to focus your mind on things that you know you're grateful for. When I'm not happy, when I'm in this bad place, I see something that I know I normally would be grateful for, or happy for, and maybe I don't feel it. But then I tell my mind, I tell my soul, this is something worth being grateful for. So I kind of tell my mind that, uh, not to manipulate my mind, but to remind myself of what I believe is true. So maybe you do that as well. If you're struggling during this, this time. <sighs> Find rest. Close your eyes and appreciate you being able to rest here. And then let your mind focus on things, small things you're grateful for and say thank you to God.
Now take a deep, deep inhale. Maybe hold your breath for a moment. Sigh out through your mouth. And if you're ready to take a seat, you might wiggle your fingers and toes. If you want to stay down, you can always, well, take a seat and pause the video. <laughs> or just stay down. Slowly taking a seat. Maybe you grab a hold of your knees before you take a seat. Thank you for choosing this hopefully joyful, fun, odd <laughs> time with me. I uh, pray that you'll find joy and keep pursuing God and God's joys. joy <laughs> if you, you can't feel it right now. It's there. Keep on going. Thank you. Thank you.